Hello friends, in this video we are going to start Google Spreadsheet. There are three methods you can open the Google Sheet. You must have a Google account and you must be logging to the Chrome or browser which support the Google Sheets. I preferably use to Google Chrome only because it's a Google product and all the compatibility issues will not be make any difficulty using the Chrome. So let us start with the first method. Come to the google.com type Google Sheets search. It will show the first option Google Sheets free online spreadsheet for personal use. Click over here and click on the personal go to Google Sheet option. It will open the docs.google.com spreadsheet. Here we can start with the blank, but you will also get some already created templates which you can use in a single click and you can modify these templates in a small time. But we will start with the blank one. Once we will be expert in the Google spreadsheets so we can use the templates and edit them as per our requirement. So let us begin by clicking over the blank. It will open the spreadsheet. We need to change the title and give the name here. This is the first method you can start with the Google Sheets. Second is come to the Google Drive and select any folder. Now come to this new option, click over here and here we have option Google Sheets. Click over here. Here also we can get a blank spreadsheet or a template. Click on the blank spreadsheet. We will get the same spreadsheet as we have already get. The third option, come to the Google Chrome and type sheet.new press enter. It will also open the Google spreadsheet in the browser, but you must be logging to the Chrome or the browser with your Google account. If you're already working in a Google spreadsheet, so you can also have one more option to start with a new spreadsheet by going to file menu, go to new. Here also we can start with a spreadsheet by clicking over here or we can select the template. We will get the same window as we get in the three different options for opening the new spreadsheet. Now I will close this one and we will work this workbook. When we do any work in the Google spreadsheet, it is saved automatically. When we type anything, press enter, you see there is an option is coming saving and now the all changes are saved in the Google Drive. So there is no need to press or do any saving method just like in the Excel every time or every minute. You need to just work online on the Google spreadsheet in the Chrome or the browser you're using. You can give the name to your spreadsheet by clicking over here. You can change the name and also you can click over here my drive and you can select the particular folder in which you want to save this one. Okay friend, close this one and you can make the star. It will be pinned on your Google Drive. So whenever you are on your Google Drive, you can easily access all the sheets where you marked star. Now we will get a little knowledge about the interface. These are the menus, file, edit, view, and we and we having some options we will use later on in coming videos. Here you can see on login details, all account details, you can sign out. You can also manage these Google accounts by going over here. You can add your profile things by going here. You can also share this spreadsheet by clicking over here. You need to just mention the email, Gmail address of that particular person. So the link will go to that uh, email. You can also assign the access, whether he can edit, he can comment or he can view only. If you select he can edit, so he can easily edit 
this spreadsheet and have complete access of the spreadsheet if you select for comment only so he can comment if you don't want to give the access for editing so select can view option only so after doing this thing you just click on the done the link will be shared with his email id you can also get the shareable link if he's not having the google account or gmail account so you just click over here the link copy to the clipboard so the link is already copied but it you don't want then click over here and then send an email or using any platform social networking or whatsapp facebook messenger any kind of uh, communicating channel you can use and the person who's having this address can access to this spreadsheet but here also you can assign whether that person having the authorization for view for comment or for editing only okay friend and later on if you want to remove that link so you just select off so even if the person having the link of this file he cannot open it without your access or without your permission so these are the options for sharing so i am closing by as pressing escape button and uh, this is the formula bar in which we can get the formula or the functions available in the google sheets these are the cells the cells are having names which can be used in any function or formula which can be referred to in any range these are the columns naming a b c d and these are the rows naming one two three like this how we know what is the name property of a particular cell whenever i click on any cell it means this particular cell is selected right now it's active the column name is c and the row name is 5 so the name property of this cell is c5 so by that way we can get what is the name of a particular cell then we can refer in the function or the formula this is the toolbar this is for undo printing zooming there are so many options available we will discuss later on in coming videos so this is the basic introduction video in the next video we will learn about how to enter the data in our worksheet so keep practicing Thank you for watching our video. Please come back again.